we already know by the title that this is a vlog style video hi guys ashley nicole here and welcome back to my youtube channel and if you are new then welcome to my youtube channel so today's video is going to be more of a vlog style video i know you guys have seen the title so you already know that i just showed you guys a little bit of the leg workout that i did early this morning i got up at 4 30 went to the gym and so i just thought i would insert a couple of the clips of me working out but i will list the full workout in the description box down below i think i'm actually going to take photos today i want some more like lifestyle photos and so i have my grandmother <laughs> She's probably gonna help me take some photos. So we're probably gonna go outside in the backyard in a few and take a couple photos. And I'll just take you guys with me on the tripod, set you guys there, and let her take them on my iPhone. So after my workout for breakfast, I've been going to Starbucks every single day this week. I don't know what's happening to me, okay? I'm just in it. First of all, I love Starbucks. I, I'm like... I'm addicted. I'm addicted. I'm addicted. Let's just be honest. I'm addicted to Starbucks. But lately, I have been really addicted to the matcha green tea latte that they have. Oh my gosh is it delicious so i've started making my own little concoction so when i go to starbucks i order a venti iced matcha green tea latte when i get home then i'll blend it with protein and a banana and then i just put it back in the cup and it is the best thing i've ever had in my life and if i'm feeling like i want a little bit more of a matcha flavor a stronger vibe i'll add two extra scoops to the venti of the matcha powder golden so if you try out this drink, let me know down below. I literally just mix it with vegan protein that I order off of Amazon, but I'll just pop it up on the screen so that you can see if you actually want to try verbatim the recipe. I'll pop my Instagram up somewhere on the screen so that you can tag me and let me know if you like it. Let me know, because I love it. I've been drinking it every single morning. Also, Starbucks has a vegan, okay, let me not say vegan because they do put cheese on it and it does have egg on it, so let me not say vegan. It's a plant-based breakfast sandwich. It has like the Impossible breakfast sandwich. It's kind of similar, I think, to the Burger King Impossible Whopper, and I saw it and I was like, I want to try that. I thought I want to try it on camera so we can go over it together. Is it delicious? Is it not? Let's talk about it. Now, for me, I did get the cheese taken off because I don't eat dairy, so let's give it a try because... It looks pretty good. This is what it looks like, but I know you see like something was cut out of it. I cut a piece out from my grandmother because she really wanted to try it. Oh, this sandwich was like roughly four or something, but it is really, really tiny. But I feel like they expect you to get like a sandwich and a drink. And so like, that's why it's so small. I don't really know. Hmm. I don't know. It has like an interesting flavor. Like it tastes like sausage, like a little spicy, but it's not like an overbearing like sausage flavor. It's actually... This is actually really, really good. And what makes it better is that it has 22 grams of protein in one little sandwich. Also, since we're sitting here and having a little chit chat, eating our breakfast together, you know, living our best lives, I was asked to do like a brief little update on how I have been handling the EHP Labs haul, like how I've been liking everything. And so I thought I would just briefly go ahead and go over that really quickly. So the protein I literally just finished this morning, I poured the rest of it in this little concoction right here. That protein, the chai vanilla or vanilla chai protein, it has a very strong, strong flavor. So if you're not into very, very strong flavors, you might not particularly like that flavor. It has a very strong like cinnamony, almost like that fall winter vibe flavor is basically what it tastes like. So it is kind of overpowering. I've read a lot of reviews of people saying like it's a strong flavor, but I feel like you made everything taste better. Like this tastes a little cinnamony now, that's okay. It's okay. So I just finished that. I didn't mind it at all. I thought it was really delicious. When it comes to like little pills for your joints, I just found these because someone asked me to do this review. <laughs> um, I really haven't been taking them, I'm gonna be honest. When I first did the haul, I was taking them and then I just kind of forgot about them until somebody asked for an update and I was like, oh yeah, I did have those pills. I wasn't taking them. Have I noticed anything like really, really different with my joints? No, not really. I haven't noticed any more pain, any less pain. I'm sure it's just like for preventative measures. So I'm sure they're fine. I just haven't been taking them as religiously as I should, okay? So actually now that I see them, I'm gonna start taking them today. The BCAAs are downstairs. I didn't bring the bottle up. I'm not a big fan of the flavor at all. The aftertaste is a no for me. I still have at least half a container left and I really don't even wanna finish it. I just, I don't know. I didn't feel like it was really doing much for me and I didn't like the flavor. Usually when you take BCAAs, they really help with muscle recovery so you don't get as sore or you honestly don't get sore at all. It just depends on how much you take, how your body adjusts to the BCAAs. But for me, when I usually take BCAAs, I usually don't experience any pain. With these BCAAs, like sometimes I'm really, really sore and I'm like, I've taken the BCAAs. They should have helped me. At least I shouldn't be feeling this sore. And I mean sore like I'm taking steps and like it hurts or not like oh I'm like kind of feeling that a little bit I may finish up the tub that I have downstairs but would I purchase it again especially not in the flavor I got probably not so this container is completely full I may have taken four servings out of it and 
it just didn't work well with my body chemistry so for me it dehydrated me so bad like to the point where like going to the restroom was hard that's how dehydrated i was and i was also drinking like a gallon of water to like supplement the fact that it was making me sweat so much so it was dehydrating me so i was trying to replenish and make myself more hydrated and it wasn't working i'm just really sensitive to certain things and my body gets thrown out of whack very fast and so i was like oh it couldn't be that big of a deal but i didn't know that like it was gonna make me sweat like that and i mean like sweating like it's dripping down my face and i'm having to like wipe it off and like i'm profusely sweating and i'm like what in the heck and i get it it's supposed to raise your body temperature it makes sense it just didn't work well with my body chemistry it made me really really dehydrated i couldn't really use the restroom it was just not for me but the flavor is amazing and i feel like if your system isn't as sensitive as mine is to a bunch of do things you should be fine i noticed i wasn't holding a lot of water weight at all like my stomach was slimming down my abs were getting more defined if you look at the video when i was doing the act apparel scrunch butt legging haul review and you look at my stomach then I was still taking this and so I noticed like okay I look tighter oh my core looks really really nice um and you do look very very toned and put together so if your system isn't as sensitive as mine is you should be fine I actually really hate that I can't finish taking it it just it's a no for me but if you try it out let me know if it works for you if you're currently using it and it works for you let me know down in the comments down below okay so I'm actually gonna go ahead and finish my smoothie and my breakfast sandwich hop in the shower and then we'll get ready to go take some photos in the backyard Okay, so today's vlog is very very chill again they're like vlog ish videos because i don't know how to vlog okay but with that being said today's video is a little bit more chill as you can tell so last time i checked in i think it was right before i went to take pictures and then i showed you guys me outside posing and taking pictures um i'll pop up some of the pictures that we did get and if you want to see the post that i actually made go check out my instagram go check it out because the photo we got was kind of bomb but with that being said, we took the photos, I edited the photo I wanted to post, and then I just relaxed and watched a little bit of TV. Today's like a little chill day, as I said earlier, so I'm just relaxing as much as I can, but I do need to be productive at some point. So I actually went ahead and ordered my lunch, or I guess a late lunch, because it is 2.34, and my lunch won't be ready until like 3.25. I ordered it from this like vegan restaurant downtown in my area, and they have this amazing fried chicken sandwich. Like, it's like the vegan version of Chick-fil-A's chicken sandwich. It is delicious. So I wanna go ahead and be productive while I have an hour or so to wait before my food is ready. So I'm actually reading this book right here, and it's called You Are A Bad. How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living, hold on, what is it saying? And How to Start Living an Awesome Life, because I can't read and it has a sticker over it. So I wanna read at least two types of this book today. And then I also want to journal, because I haven't been journaling. I'm trying to get on this trend of journaling, expressing my emotions and my feelings and putting them on paper. Um, and also when I'm like Bible study or anything, I put it in here as well. That just makes it a little bit easier for me to keep all my thoughts in one place. And then the thing that I'm most excited to actually start using, like actually start using, is the Balance Athletica Planner that they released. And I saw it and I was like, that's going to help me be uber productive. It's the 15th, so we basically have 16 more days of the month, I think. 31 days, yes, yeah, 16 days left of the month. So I want to be intentional about the rest of the days that I have left. And then I will go on to planning for the week because I need to plan what videos I'm going to be doing. And just like getting on top of things, feeling a little bit more productive. And so with all that being said, we're going to go ahead and let you guys watch me plan, read, journal, do all that stuff. And then we'll check back in later and I can possibly share with you guys what my video ideas coming up are going to be. I have made a couple of purchases for activewear. We're going to be excited. Be excited. Okay. If you have any suggestions for what you want me to do for a video, comment down below. Let me know. Um, I've been trying to get to a lot of the requests that I have received, but if you have any other ones. Okay. So I'll check in with you guys later, but let's go ahead and get this productivity started because I don't know how much time I have. okay guys so it is currently 324 
I've been journaling, reading, and writing down things in my planner. So I was productive for about an hour or so, and it's almost time for me to go pick up my food. So just as a heads up, I do want to let you guys know that I did purchase from Nasty Fit, so I did get those biker shorts. So those should be coming up in a video soon, and I also purchased from Athletes Launch that just happened literally today as I'm filming, which is Saturday the 15th. Let me see. Right, so Saturday the 15th. But yeah, so I did get some things from the launch, and I will be doing a video on that as well. Okay. But I just want to give you a heads up as to the videos that I do have coming as far as active wear goes. And I'm going to try to throw some newer ideas out there for you guys. Just give you something a little bit different, create a different vibe. So yeah, so that's basically the gist of my journal. And I'm going to take a break now because I think my food is ready. And I'll, I'll see you guys in a little bit.